I've come across a splendid passage from the children's book and I was absolutely amazed with the precision it portrayed some things. The theater also did not escape new influences. It should be noted that fashion was of great importance in this whole business. As soon as one of the most prominent theater directors dressed up in a fashionable suit with very wide yellow and green trousers and a small colorful beret with a tassel, he immediately said that the theater is not a museum. It should not stay behind life, and if in life now everything is done not as it should be, then in the theater everything should be done topsy-turvy either. If previously the audiences were sitting in the auditorium and the actors were playing on the stage, now, on the contrary, the audiences must sit on the stage and the actors play in the auditorium. This director, whose name, by the way, was Trickster, did just likewise in his theater. He put chairs on the stage and seated the audiences there. But since all the spectators could not fit on the stage, he seated the rest of the audiences in the auditorium and made the actors play in the middle of the audiences. It will come out even odder, Director Trickster rejoiced. Previously, the audiences sat separately and the actors played separately, and now the actors will be right among the audiences. Of course, no actor being among the audiences could spin with such speed that everyone could see their faces. It turned out that some spectators were only able to see the actors' faces, while others could only see the back of their heads. With the settings, it also turned out to be some kind of nonsense. Some spectators saw the actors in the settings, while others did not see either one or the other, since the settings were turned backwards to them and obscured the actors, so that no one would be bored at the sight of such an uninteresting entertainment, director Trickster ordered several actors to run around the auditorium during the performance, dust the audiences with colored fillings, beat them on the head with slapsticks and air-inflated bubbles. The crowd did not really like the innovations in the sunny city theater all these theatrical tricks, but director Trickster said this was just good, because if earlier a performance the audiences liked was considered good, now that everything has become the other way around, a performance must be considered good if no one likes it. Such reasoning did not convince anyone of anything and the audiences often left the performance long before it was over. This did not really upset director Trickster. He said that he would come up with some new tricks, and everyone would sit pinned down then. He actually came up with the idea to cover all the benches with resin before the performance starts, so that the audience would glue and could not leave. It helped, but only once, because since then no one went to Trickster's theatre.